My name is John Trenchard, I'm a tree climbing instructor from the UK and I'm here today to talk about the uses for the Hipstar Flex. Hipstar Flex comes available in two different sizes. There is the 12.7 millimeter, which is colored orange, and there is the 11.5 millimeter, which is colored green. Uh, the smaller rope is a little bit lighter. The orange rope is very good in your hands. Uh, the working load limit on them is 150 kilos. They're both exactly the same. It's just personal preference, which one you tend to use. This rope tends to be a little bit stiffer uh, this one is a little bit more flexible, so you have the two sizes available. Uh, neither Hipstar Flex is delivered with the OD loop. So if, we, if you decide you're going to use it single line, you need to purchase one of these uh, as an optional extra. Some people like to use them, some people don't. So it's now decided if you want to use one of these in the future, it comes as an optional. So you need to order that separately if you want it to go alongside your Hipstar Flex lanyards. We'll show you later on in the video some of the advantages uh, of being able to use this piece of equipment when you're setting up. The Hipstar Flex comes pre-assembled. Uh, we already have carabiners put into place for you. So we have a DMM Shadow, an Ultra O, and a Pinto Pulley, and then the hitch already pre-configured. The 11.5 Hipstar Flex comes with two options for this hitch, depends on personal preference. This one is a distal and tied on this one so you can see the difference over here is a valve detained tress. So on the 11.5, you can use those two hitches. On the 12.7, you can add a third hitch in. Again, personal preference, you can tie yourself a Mitcher can. So that's that knot pre-tied for you. It's important that you use the right knot for the Hipstar Flex because these are the knots that it has been tested to be used with. So if you try another variation of this, uh, the, the system is no longer certified. Uh, the system is certified to uh, a 358 lanyard configuration and a 795B anchor. So we can use it as an anchor device. This is one of the, the only lanyards I'm available, aware of that is available as an anchor point that you can set in the tree. And again, we'll show you that when we're in the tree so you can see how that is also configured. Don't forget to spend some time to have a read through the manual that is supplied with your Hipstar Flex. It contains some really useful information like things like how to tie the hitches that apply to the Hipstar Flex that you've purchased. And then going on through the, the manual, it tells you uh, explanations of the labels, what they mean, what the working load limits are, how to use it, so how it's been designed to be used, uh, its limitations of use, the transportation, cleaning, storage, that sort of thing. Uh, and then there is a, a section in the back of the book on regular checks, maintenance and service life. The manufacturers design these products to last as long as they sensibly can, but the time will expire of how long you've had them in work. So if you take the time when the device is new to write down information about what it is, uh, its serial number, when you first uh, made it and when it was first put into use, then from there you can work out how long you've been using the device and look at when you need to retire it when it gets to the end of its time. So in this portion of the video, we're going to show you how we can use the Hipstar Flex to achieve a really good, comfortable work position in the canopy of the tree. With the Hipstar Flex attached to the upper side rings on the back support of the harness, it can be used as support as if you were against a pole. It goes around the tree, and it must come back to the opposite ring on the other side of the harness. This is really only to be used if your feet are securely placed on a branch against the stem of the tree, or perhaps when you're using a pole uh, working on spikes. When you're being supported by the harness, the Hipstar Flex is better moved to the front attachment points of your harness. So on the tree motion, we've got these two lower front Ds on here. And again, they must be used as a pair, but if you use them by going around the tree and coming back to the one on the opposite side, 
it acts to suspend you. So it's using the leg supports and the back supports to hold you in the tree more comfortably. So I have my hip star flex here set as a traditional lanyard. It comes from my lower front D's, around the tree, back to the opposite front D on the other side, holding me nicely in suspension. My anchor point is coming from over there. It's holding me where I need to go. Now, to use this to get a decent work position, I can simply adjust my main hitch and that allow me to come across. I can adjust the hitch on my lanyard if I need to adjust my work position slightly and that will allow me to lean out with a handsaw. I can cut wherever I need to go in a stable and comfortable work position because the lanyard is holding me where I need to be. So you can see here I've uh, put on the OD loop. So I'm going to use that in a minute or two to show some other work positioning techniques. But if you want to carry it with you and you don't want it to be in the way but it's ready for deployment, this is a recommended way of storing it. So if you can clip it into the back side of the carabiner, the opposite side that opens, and it doesn't get in the way, it doesn't interfere with you clipping in and out of the uh, carabiner in normal day-to-day -day use. So here we have a slightly different configuration to use the Hipstar Flex to help me get a good work position. I want to go out along that branch over there and I've got a suitable branch that I can use up here as a bit of a redirect or a supplementary anchor point to help me get a good work position. So what we've done here, we've used the uh, Ocean Dyneema loop, clipped the carabiner into it and I've set it at a distance that I can reach the carabiner to retrieve it once I've finished. You can set this because it's a prussic. You can slide it and move it anywhere along there that helps you reach it. What you must never do is to clip the carabiner just over the rope. The carabiner disappears all the way to the branch firstly and you can't reach it but the problem with that is that your carabiner will be sideways loaded around the branch and that's going to damage the carabiner and eventually cause failure so we don't want to do that. So by configuring it into the ocean dima loop what we've done there we've set up a single leg from my hitch back to my harness and this time I've utilised one of my centre attachment points, so one of the rings that goes onto the middle of my harness and I've clipped into. My main anchor point is over here behind me, again going away in that direction. So I've now triangulated my work position. And similar as before, I can adjust my main line and as I adjust my main line, this will allow me to reach out where I want to go. Another big advantage of using it on a single leg is you can use the full length of your lanyard to help you get to where you need to go. So in this case, I've got a seven meter lanyard here. So that's going to enable me to triangulate from this branch, probably all the way down there to some of these lower branches if I needed to. So this time we're going to give you a different option. My hip star flex I've turned into a small moving rope system do this by clipping back into the becket of the carabiner it's important that you get the carabiner facing away from the rope when you configure it this way as you don't want the sliding rope rubbing against the gate of the carabiner this can now be adjusted the same as it would be for a moving rope system taking in on the pulley leasing hitch to give you a good work position what it does this time is it keeps the option of a mechanical advantage which the single leg is a bit more difficult to uh, manipulate yourself going back up. So here we're going to show you another option to get a good work position. So I've left my Hipstar Flex configured as a small moving rope system and I've removed the Ocean Dyneema uh, sling and I've configured it on the other end. The lanyard comes with two ends so I've configured it onto the other end and now I'm going to show you how we can use that to achieve a better work position than the one I have at the moment. So here's that work position set up. Small moving rope system, back to the ring of my harness. This time I've used another carabiner. And what I've done, I've passed my rope around the end of the branch, put my Ocean Dyneema sling on, clipped it into my carabiner, and this helps me consolidate my work position. This Prusik 
should only really be used to hold you in a position because it's got Dyneema in it. It's not very good as a friction hitch, but to hold you in a work position, it works very well. If you want to turn this into a full moving rope system, then it's better to replace the Ocean Dyneema with some Cirrus loop or something like that to help you keep in a, in a good stable work position. But this can be configured in many places. So I've triangulated nicely, just using my nice long lanyard. I've got plenty of slack down through the middle and I could use to triangulate myself to get a comfortable work position so I could use both hands on the chainsaw, hold a piece of wood as I'm cutting it with a handsaw without losing my stability whilst I'm working in the tree. Remember, you don't always have to anchor to the one branch in front of you, or lanyard too. In this case, I've used my longer lanyard to come all the way back to me. Just to reinforce the point, we must always use these lower front Ds in pairs. So if you use this one, you can't bring that hitch back to the same side. It must go to the opposite side of your harness. So you're fully suspended across this portion of your harness. So this time I've added into my loop, the rope goes to the same place as before, look around both those branches, back to my harness. But this time I've added in my Ocean Dyneema Prusik and I've connected it directly to the bridge of my harness and what it does it helps triangulate my position left and right and by using the Prusik I can adjust myself in whichever direction I want to go slide that Prusik along to hold me more to the left or more to the right. So here's the hip star flex configured with a nice angle of about 45 degrees my main anchor coming back to me an angle of 45 degrees and the rope is through the end carabiner with the stopper knots below and the tail daisy chained up. A three meter lanyard is excellent for this application. Again, if it's desirable that your main anchor point is locked off, this time we've used a ring loop with a six wrap prusik. Clip that into the carabiner from my Hipstar Flex. And again, I can adjust the tail left or right to get my main anchor exactly where I need it to be. Another use of the Hipstar Flex is to set it up as in this case a redirect for an SRT line. Because the Hipstar Flex is rated as an anchor, it's a 795B anchor, and it's been tested in that configuration, we can utilize the adjustability of it and the strength of it to put our climbing lines exactly where we need to be. So in this case, I've gone around a suitable branch, I've clipped back into the becket of the DMM pulley, and the climbing system has gone through the carabiner on the bottom end of the Hipstar Flex. Below where the rope is hanging down, once I've configured it to be in the right position, I shall place a stopper knot just to make sure there's no unexpected movement once I've got it set. 